So Nats is North America's top snowmobiler. It's a competition that we've been doing for three years. And essentially what we've done is we've pitted mountain riders against trail riders, Canada against the USA. And this year it was East versus West. Uh, it went really, really widespread. People got great coverage on national network news. This season was pretty high stake, pretty aggressive gameplay, and it turned out really well. So I woke up three o'clock in the morning and I opened up my phone and I had a text message from my mother and said, congratulations. <laughs> so I, I said, well, I got to investigate this. So I scrolled down to the Super Track site and sure enough, my name was there and I don't think I've slept since. So CKMP, for one, the place is surgically clean. And the shop, I, I could probably roll out a sleeping bag and live in that. It is, it's pretty awesome. Like the sleds that Carl rode in the past, like when I used to watch him at a snowcross race and just hanging from the rafters, it's, it's kind of surreal, right? Do you know how to run that thing? <laughs> I remember you. <laughs> so it was time for Dustin to meet Carl. And this was gonna be big for him. I mean, honestly, he was he was literally, he was vibrating. He was so excited to meet Carl. Carl's been an icon in his life for a long time. Just to meet the guy and I've seriously been following him and Blair Morgan and their race team ever since they existed. And so as if winning the competition, getting a 2020 sled, going to CKMP, being featured on Snow Tracks and in Super Tracks magazine and all this cool stuff wasn't enough. Skidoo also threw in a brand new set of Helium 30 ride gear uh, for Dustin. So the first day we weren't gonna be riding with Carl, we were actually riding with Carl's better half, Shelly. Shelly is an absolute beast on the snowmobile. Like this lady can tear it up. She has really been the uh, uh, poster child for bad decisions, made great stories. She really is a, a, a ripper and she is a great teacher. He's just out there, it's like, you know, it's like in the Lego movie, the spaceship guy, you know, he's just like, powder pillow, snowmobile, wheelie, awesome. He's just going crazy, just tearing everything up. It was awesome once, once I got used to the sled a bit and could throw it around. Comes back and, I mean, I think his helmet was grinning. They were gonna have to surgically remove this thing from his head, the smile that he had. He was stoked. So after we got Dustin warmed up, Shelly was gonna take him out and just kind of push his limits a little bit, um, run him through the trees and, and into some more vertical steep stuff. I was giggling like a schoolgirl, so yeah, I don't think I've laughed or smiled as hard in my life, like on a snowmobile as what I am right now. Shelly can absolutely shred. I, it blew my mind, right? Like that girl can ride. You got to be pushing each other. I mean, you don't really want to sit down and if you're at a place like this, you don't want to sit down and trail ride all day, you know? And if, as far as I'm concerned, if you're not getting stuck or you're not in a place where you're, you know, not 100% comfortable, then you're not trying hard enough. <laughs> My rookiness came out. What happened? I'm still smiling. Well, I've had a lot of seat time at the Summit Expert, and it's awesome. I got to ride the 2020 free ride. That's also awesome. This Summit Expert by far stands out the most. Just the little subtle changes, like you wouldn't believe how much difference it makes like in, in your confidence and, and, and what you can do, especially for someone who's not used to riding in the mountains. It's a, it's a big help. So the impact that we've had with the, the expert package is what are the next things that people want to do with snowmobiles and make them more agile, capable. So they handle bigger jumps. You know, you can ride it more aggressively. And that's kind of how we came up with the expert package. So without the snow flap, obviously, and a shorter tunnel, you know, it really evacuates the snow. So when you're climbing up the hill, it'll stand right up on the end. If you let it, especially if you pull back, you can pretty much turn it around and go right back out the same track. The helium gear is 
This is the first time I've worn it, and it's, it's awesome, right? Like, coming up the trail, you can close up your vents. It'll keep you warm. It won't It won't make you sweat. You can, If you start to sweat, you can open up your vents, and it it's just gets all the moisture out. You, you never have that hot, cold, hot, cold cycle. Like, when you're riding, you're hot, and when you're stopped, you freeze. It's just kind of consistent. It, it was like, this was monumental for Dustin. It's one of those times where I really felt, I really felt blessed to be able to be there and be able to just experience it with him and see his passion. It's no use living if you're already there. It's not worth saying if it's already said. Even if it all goes over your head. Believe it if you want to. So keep your eyes on the road and your head in the stars. Follow it down the rabbit hole just a little while longer. You can change anything if you want to. No, like going around with you guys and just seeing what you guys can do and trying to follow you and trying to keep up, it's, it's fun. And it's, uh, they always say, you know, you'll never, you'll never really learn unless you, you ride or you do something with somebody who is at an, an higher level, right? So it's good. I think yesterday you said I, I was giggling like a schoolgirl. So yeah, I don't think I've laughed or smiled as hard in my life like out of snowmobile is what I am right now. So I finally got the chance to ride with Dustin in an area that was just prime. It had snowed a whole bunch of fresh snow. It was just perfect. I mean, it was one of those cut blocks that typically would look pretty mellow, but it had like nine feet of snow on it. It's not worth saying if it's already said. Even if it all goes over your head. Believe it if you want to. So keep your eyes on the road and your head in the stars. Follow it down the rabbit hole just a little while. I mean, CKMP has always been known for exceptional mountain riding at lower altitudes with more horsepower, but I'll tell you what, this little cut block we found was unlike any I had ever ridden before. You know, in Newfoundland, most rocks are, are just covered by pillows. You're kind of rolling the dice when you go into one, but here it's just, you know, if you don't see a stump coming out of it, you can pretty much go over the backside of it. And then when you land, it's just snow in your face. Beautiful like a video game really we just got dumped on with snow you can pop off of this one pop off of that one double those two step off of this one and it really is a cool playground that is different than just an open powder field and you kind of have to wait until later in the season until it gets filled in quite a bit to be able to do that Shelly took us to a place that I would call solid gold. I mean, Dustin and I were having a blast, ripping it up, dropping everything we could, and just giggling like little kids. At one point, I actually heard him laughing through his helmet. This guy, this guy is great. He's so much fun to ride with. He's just, he's just so am. The Summit Expert is a really unique sled because obviously it's got that shorter tunnel on it, the little tiny snow flap, if you even want to call it a snow flap. It's got the adjustable limiter strap, you know, different front end geometry, the different shocks. It's got a whole lot of things about it. The tiny seat and an absolute wheelie monster. This thing runs on the rear idlers nonstop. Not only does it do that, but when you come out of the wheelie and you throw your shoulder down and set it onto a side hill, it doesn't kind of want to pop back up and keep coming back up. It just sticks and stays. There's no snow flap to stop it. It doesn't build up in the skid. It seems like this thing weighs less because it's carrying less snow. And I got off it and I was like, I don't think I want to ride anything other than this up here now. <laughs> I, I'm 100% I'm certain I've heard you screaming like a little schoolgirl inside your helmet at least a dozen times after landing stuff, wheeling the whole nine yards. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm doing it a lot too. <laughs> this sled to me is, honestly, it's a diff this is a different snowmobile. This is not a G4 Summit. This is the expert package. It should have a new label because 
it's it's completely different. We were just cruising this sweet little, kind of a creek bed, I guess. It's, it's running into the trees from the higher alpine area. You know, it was kind of this nice little area. We could ramp up the banks and whatnot. <laughs> oh, man. And man, I have not gone over the bars and kissed the hood like that for quite some time. It was, uh, yeah, it, it knocked the wind clean out of me. Um, sled was fine, everything was good, but it took a little, took a little while to get out of there. There was a little, little forestry work needed. Nice Christmas tree, if anything. It's a bit of a Charlie Brown, but. <laughs> So there's a bit of a tradition at CKMP. Um, at the end of the day, you go around the table and tell kind of your favorite moment of the day, but then there's also, if something goes sideways, somebody's got to wear the chicken suit. And I'm talking like, like full chicken suit. And on this particular day, Dustin was the guy to do that. Now, the reason that he did that, and it, yeah, I don't think it's on camera and you probably aren't gonna see it, um, but he popped off his, his Avalanche ABS system, I think probably in the first, 50 feet of going off trail. <laughs> so it was finally the day for Dustin to ride with Carl. He was amped, it was on. It, it was like, this was monumental for Dustin. He was so excited to ride with Carl. And I wanted these two guys just to go out and, and do what Carl Cooster does, push your limits, keep you safe, but make sure you come back with some serious stories. When we got to the first little zone and there was kind of some wind drifts and stuff in there and Dustin was ripping around. And even when we were doing some hill climbing previously, Dustin was silent, side hilling through there and he ripped through everything with ease. And I was impressed. You know, obviously he spent some time riding a snowmobile and jumping a snowmobile and flipping or you know, fooling around, but he definitely has played around on a sled lots, and that's obvious. So yeah, this, this is day two, and we got to ride with Carl. Again, I just got to say, you know, like, you know, just a humble dude, right? I think that was the most mind-blowing, is like, I've seriously been following him and Blair Morgan and their race team ever since they existed. And... Remember, it can't be any fun. This is strictly work. <laughs> work, 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 work. Roger. Just to meet the guy and start riding with him and see, like, how interactive he is with you. It's not like, hey, man, I'm Carl Cooster. Just try and follow me. Doesn't matter if it's the expert sled or the free ride or normal summit or whatever. You know, bent knees and when you're going through the rough stuff, it really absorbs that and the sled just settles right out. Yeah. I YouTube that this morning. I'm pretty sure that's what it does. <laughs> just getting a bit of seat time and getting to chase him around and. I know he's probably taking it a bit easy on me, but it's, it's, it's awesome. Well, it was awesome to ride with the Super Track Snow Tracks guys again and Dustin. It was a joy, and it, we had good snow conditions, and we had a riot. Excited to see what sled Dustin picks, and. Uh, Let's do it again. Just to come out here and experience it is is unreal. When my kids are older, I can tell them about it. And it's, you know, it's, it's just awesome, right? You know, like, it's just a cool story, just just to say that. Let's never put the night on night. Never put the night on It was a pleasure getting to know Dustin better, learning of his deep-rooted passion for snowmobiling, which we also share. Heck, after seeing him ride, you definitely know he is very deserving of the title, North America's top snowmobiler. Bigger than I thought. Oh! <laughs> Look at where he dropped in. It's like somebody shoveled a four foot deep hole. There seems to be a lot of ways that people interpret that skidoo feeling. 
but I think the experiences that we shared in this story might just express that authentic feeling the best. If you like what you've just seen, click the subscribe button and comment below. And make sure you check out all of our great videos on Snowtracks TV's YouTube channel.